Hey you! Yes you! You know why you clicked on this video. You wanted to texturize your hair, but you wanted to see another girl do it first before you do it. Right? Or am I wrong? Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Darnell. If you don't know me, if this is your first time here, um, this is my channel where I do everything in my corner. I do hauls, I do fashion, I do sewing, anything creative, all things creative in Darnell's corner. So today, um, I'm texturizing my hair. Yes, this, trying to tame all of this, all of this <sighs> wonderfulness that you would call natural hair. So I decided to do this because I wanted a change. Um, yes, I like my natural hair. I don't necessarily want to go fully straight, but my hair is a task like any other natural. <sighs> it's, it's tough in these natural hair streets because my hair is so much work. So whatever I can do to make my life much easier with doing my hair, I'm going to do that. But like I said, I really wanted a change. What I really wanted to do was color my hair. But I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. So next thing we're going to do is this. Texturize our hair today. So I don't know if this is one of those videos or one of those persons where let's just see how the other person texturizes their hair. You've come to the right place. I'm your guinea pig for the day, for the week, or however long you are trying to evaluate your decisions in texturizing your hair. So, um, so I have this uh, ORS Olive Oil Girls um, texturizer. Yeah, without further ado, I I guess I'm over like two minutes on my intro. Let's get started into texturizing our hair. So the first thing we have with this is, as you can see, it's for little girls. Um, so I went into the hair store yesterday and um, I there was not much texturizers um, for women, not much at least brands, brands that I knew about or knew of, so I just went with this the all the things that we have in this is the soft curls texturizer base then um, the add to the mix um, texture softening system the avocado oil formula focus and we have the skin and scalp protective gel we have the activator Focus, focus. You have your shampoo, shampoo and conditioner. And then I also bought this to do with it. I hope the Anjaki's um, Intensive Repair Conditioning Mask. I hope to do that um, right after I shampoo it. And we also have a stick and the instructions. And then you have your gloves. Hopefully you can see that the gloves is on the, whatchamacallit, the directions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is read the instructions and then come back. And then if you're doing this, then we can do it together. Or if you're just watching, you know, BRB. Off camera, I read the instructions, cleared out my hair, put it in sections. And then I also put the um, skin, skin and scalp protective gel. Sorry, my finger looked weird doing that. But um, yeah. So now we're going to mix the base and the activator and the um, what's this thing called? I really, I thought they would have numbers on it, but I guess that's another. Thing. Um, so it says to mix these things, let it rest for five minutes, 
and then put it on so guys make sure you are in a ventilated area okay so i want to pour these this in here this oil thing then we're gonna mix I really hope this is enough because um the last time I texturized my hair it was not enough I should have gotten two um, boxes but um, I guess we'll see how it goes I guess hopefully you'll get through my hair a little bit better so it's done mixing I'm gonna let it rest for cover it let it rest for five minutes five minutes well yeah five minutes and then we'll come back and put it on um, it has been five minutes so let's get cracking so um I don't have anybody here to help me, so I just hope that uh, I I get everything. Okay, so let's just maybe try and do it like this. Put these two here, these two over here. And I'm going to take this out and go in. Dressa is watching this, she's like cringing right now, but I have no help, so this is the best I can do. that I'm supposed to leave this on for about like I guess I have like medium hair so about like eight to nine minutes or the maximum time would be like 13 to 15 13 to 15 minutes so I'm gonna leave it on my hair for about 10 minutes and then come back well I guess wash it out and then come back so yeah I'll do that and we'll see the results all right y'all we're finally back I have conditioned my hair with the um, conditioner and I've used this because um, the on Jackie's conditioning mask because in that packet was just not enough for my hair yeah so this is how my hair looks after everything as you can see it's a lot more stretched now even when wet i am very happy with it i'm very happy but i'm pleased with how it came out it's still a little puffy or whatever but um that's just any natural hair if I don't want it puffy I might as well just perm it I'm just gonna put my hair in a bunch of twist what I'm going to use is the and Jackie's curl la la curling custard curl custard the organic smoother and polisher yeah this Jamaican black castor oil with mango and papaya and then I'm 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not the one of these, or I'm not like your YouTuber that's gonna say, oh, use a dime size. No. Use as much <laughs> as you need, or as you feel like it would be saturated, or it would saturate your hair. Um, what I will say though is, because you know like oil and water doesn't mix, so I'm going to put this on first and then put the oils on. So this is what I'm starting off with. So that's the amount I'm going to put on to start off with. If I need more, then I'll put more on. A little squeeze. One, two drops of that. Make sure I get the ends. And then comb it out. This, the texturizer definitely made it easier to comb through my hair, like a ton easier. Like it's gonna be, well, I hope, hopefully like for the rest like after my hair is like dry and it's been like a week or two after I, um, I do another style after this uh, twist out that like it's easier to comb. So yeah, so my hair is right now it's a little under, but I can't show that because it's sure it's a little see through. Now I can actually like maybe try a wash and go. Like I know people, by the way, my hair is like a, well before I texturized it, it was like a, like a 4B more so than a 4C or 4A. I feel like I would have had to gone through a whole lot like finger coiling, a whole lot of that if I wanted like the whole wash and go look to do with my uh, like conditioner and all that stuff but that's the that defeats the purpose of a wash and go like I still would have to do work for a wash and go a wash and go is supposed to be like something easy to manage or sorry not easy to manage but like quick to do so yeah maybe I am I'm able to try like a wash and go now um, Maybe hairstyles for me will take a little less time this time. But that, so yeah, like really now I'm just like putting my hair in these smaller sections now just to babble a little bit, but I really don't have to. I could just really do this section right here, twist it and, and go. But yeah, my feet hurt. So I'm gonna sit down, twist my hair, come back, show you how the twist look, and then um, come back in the morning and show you how the twist out looks when it's dry. So we are back, looking like a little Johnny. Um, but this is how the twist out looks. This one, as you can see, is a little bit long. Usually, um, if I were to do like a twist out, it'll probably be like right here. So you could tell my hair stretched a little bit with with these twists. Usually, my twists are like here. They don't really touch. Uh, they don't really touch my shoulder like that if I didn't um, texturize it. So this is how it looks with it being twisted. Using my back view. Um, and yeah, so one more time <laughs> I'm leaving you and I'll show you like the end result. And this is how the twist out came out. I would say to be honest like it I guess it just elongated the twist out just a little bit um maybe it may be like a, a difference in about I guess like at the two week mark of a twist out because that's kind of how long I tend to keep my twist out sometimes so maybe it'll look a little bit longer 
compared to how it looked in the beginning because in the beginning that's when it was like that's how my hair was like that was like a two week old twist out i may give like a two week update we'll see how it goes i'm i'm kind of running behind with doing these um uploading these videos so we'll see how that goes maybe i'll upload some other videos before these um so also go and check those out but um yeah so this is the finished look um maybe i'll try to do like another style or something also as well um in that two two week mark video if i don't come back I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some information from it. I hope um, this helped you to make a better decision as to if you want to texturize your natural hair or not, or if this is just like a fun video that you decided to watch. You're a natural hair person and you know, you just want to weigh in your options so yes as i said before thank you so much for watching this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up um subscribe to my youtube channel that helps me out a lot and liking this video helps me and my channel out a lot helps out with the algorithm and helps out with you seeing and also having other people see my videos as well so yes thank you again and i'll see you next time Bye. Okay, here's what I'll do. Um, this I know you can see this. That's annoying. I want to pull it. I want to cut it. Oh, that was long. That was long. Oh my gosh, y'all! Look, can you see it? How much hair I just pulled? It's like <laughs> it's like super long. Okay, let's not get distracted. you.